Hello everyone and welcome to Timberborn. Starting up a new series and this is a new style of video as well. We're going to be walking through everything in real time. So let's get started with the folk tales and then we're going to be doing this walkthrough on terraces and we're just going to stick with the normal difficulty. And excuse me for my voice, I am still a little sick but I'll do my best to get through it without sounding <laughs> completely awful. For this series, we're going to go with Rigor Ridge as the name of it. So, in the very beginning, I want to pause everything. Let's get a little bit of the lay of the land, because I haven't played this since they added bad water in. And it looks like there's three, batter wa three bad water sources over there. And it feeds in. And we have our normal water source up here. And then, let's see, yeah, all meets up down here, more bad water, but focusing a little bit over here, we have, going to get a, a pass set up, and then we'll have a water pump, nope, have a water pump set up right there, and let's see, we'll get, oh man. That's not perfectly lined up. I wish they would switch that. Anyways. So we do need to get some lumberjack flags. That's probably the most important thing. I'm going to be getting, getting a few of these. Let's just get a third one. And then we'll also get a gatherer flag for over here. Increase the amount of workers for now. Let's see what else. We do want to get a farmhouse set up. We can start that right here. And some storage. We'll do oh, three in a row. Get rid of this one. Then we can deprioritize some of these and prioritize some of these. Okay, I think we can get started with that. Oh, we also need to mark down, need to mark all these trees to get cut. Yep. The beaver's new. But I do want to save couple trees because if you end up chopping all the wood down and there's no more trees that grow after that then you're just kind of kind of screwed this needs to be at the top of the list though so while we go through here let's see yeah, so for this series, uh, I have three goals, and they're all related to monuments. Once we can get the farmer monument, brazier of bonding, and then the fountain of joy, that's when I feel like we'll have completed this walkthrough. And I'm not just going to be going straight to these, trying to get them as fast as possible. I'm going to want to do all this stuff with bots, and then what else? Maybe there's something else that I want to do. I want to actually look kind of pretty. Not just trying to make it the fastest we could to get to the monuments. Yeah, in the beginning we can also bump up the working hours. We'll fast forward through the night. Not really much for them to do. You might want to get some storage at some point. Yeah. Right now I think we're okay with these. We do need to get housing because that's how they reproduce in the folktales land. Now let's see. Slow this down a little bit. 
Um, okay, we're going to do this. I should really, you know, okay. I should really lay out what I want to do in terms of food and production and all that. This extends all the way over here. I do want to have this area as the tree planting zone, and then this is a food area. I did place a farmhouse over here. That's okay. I'll need another farmhouse in the, in the future as well, so... This one being located right here for now is okay. We gotta set this to water. So let's take a look. So trees, food, production, since they rely heavily on wind and water. Well, that's not ideal. This whole setup isn't great for water wheels. One of the downsides of the folktales, at least on this map. That being said, I think we'll probably have production over in this area. And then housing and storage can be over here. Yeah, I think we'll do that. So for housing um, start with this Okay, we're going to do this, and then in the future I'm going to put these houses on top. We'll just have some stairs that go right up, and we can fit a couple more houses over here as well. And then on the back side I can put even more houses. These ones will probably be... Probably just single story? Well, we'll figure that out later. Get this set up with water. So now we have... Th okay, let's reduce... Oh. We gotta also actually plant some food. Let's get that set up. Carrots. Easy start. And sunflowers. So we don't actually really need blueberries for the folktales since it doesn't contribute to their well-being at all. It just satisfies hunger. So, as soon as we have carrots and sunflowers growing, then we can start demolishing all this. And I think for now we can actually even start with some of the, some of the baby ones at the very least. And then we don't have much being constructed, so we can hold off on builders. One thing we do need to worry about, or at least focus on, oh, science. I always forget to do that in the very beginning. So, you'll have science over in this area. Pause this for now, where you only need one builder's hut or one inventor's hut. We do need this built immediately though. We also need to focus on getting a lumber mill and getting some planks set up. And then also need a power wheel. We can reduce the priority of these. Okay, now we can get going a little bit faster. Okay, so we have some of the basics. We have the, well, most importantly, we have the water pump 
in the farmhouse with a little bit of water storage. And then getting this inventor's hut set up in the housing. And we can get a campfire soon. Not really worried about that quite yet. Beavers are just chugging along, making making the houses. Let's see. And the decorations. It's always I always like making shrubs and lanterns because they don't really take too many resources or science, but I always wait until getting the essentials because really in the beginning your race is to get to the forester so that way you can replant trees and not worry about running out of wood. Oh, we need to switch that. Okay. We can probably reduce this. And then we'll probably want to make actually one more house. So let's do that. Um, I'm going to do this. Right here. Yeah, that way, because we have 12 beavers. Oh, they are happy. So, in the beginning, having four houses with the... Both folk tales will make sure that they all have a uh, shelter, but they won't be able to expand their population because there needs to be a vacancy like right here. And then these two can get it on and make a baby. So now we have three open slots, so we'll get three more babies in the next few nights. It looks like this guy, both of them, are just hanging out here. We can expand this a little bit. Let's do this. And then hopefully they can reach these now. Wow, they got that built fast. We are running short on trees now. We still have a bunch that need to grow up. But I think we actually want to get this prioritized now because we only have 16 science and we need 60, I think. 60? Yeah, we need 60. Pause this for now. And then we have the perfect amount of workers that we can do that. This will get built soon. You guys have the perfect range for all the trees. Now we have an okay amount of water. I think I'll need to... Oh, I did... <laughs> I also realized that I placed this right in the middle instead of to the side. Uh, well... Uh, <laughs> that's a little, a little annoying, but I'll fix that later. Once we get the Forester unlocked, then I'll probably move this over. Now we have an unemployed beaver. Um, yeah, we'll put him in the Builder's Hut. But really, I guess we could make another Lumberjack. Let's, let's do that. Reduce this. We can pause that. Well, okay, now I'm going back and forth. We're almost at 60 science. So really we should probably, well we don't have anything to build right now. That actually will work out perfectly. We can get those two in there. Now we don't need to make any storage because this can hold 13 planks. This actually also will serve as a cutoff so we don't make way more planks than we need because in the beginning we only need seven planks to make the forester. We 
we all need to get storage. Oh, but these guys I'm so used to playing on the iron teeth because the storage for these guys is 2D so you can't stack it on top of each other but they do have this underground pile although it takes a lot of planks and a lot of gears so that's definitely later in the game but that will be useful for when we have a lot of wood and a lot of planks ready to be stored. And then I think they still have... yeah, the ruins are over here. They also have ruins right over here across this huge river, but that will be more difficult to reach. So... Let's see, are some of these carrots... we're getting closer. We are running low on food. Oh, but they, he hasn't been able to store anything because I think we just start out with a bunch of food in here. So he's been kind of useless. Well. Okay, well, now he's actually doing something. We do have a little bit of wood. We can start working on some storage. We'll probably do couple small warehouses right here. For now we'll do berries. Well, okay. That's almost done. We don't really need this to store berries. We will need that in the future, but for now we don't need this to be for berries. This will be for carrots. Is that right here? Then let's see. Pause this. And then we can use the stairs to get up a level. Okay. And pause all of these. Maybe we'll make this one into four sunflowers. There we go. Then we'll have four storage. We'll get some piles set up. Start with wooden planks, but we don't need the planks yet. Yeah, so we have one pile, and then this warehouse, and this warehouse, which are not paused, and then the two little ones. Two little ones, might not use them quite yet. That's okay, we will use them in the future. Oh nice, we have enough science and we have enough planks in order for us to get this forester. So this guy right here, yes, yes. That'll reach most of this. We can use this area since we can use the area right here for water pumping since it looks like he can't quite reach over here. And then, it is day six, so we have probably at least another six to eight days before the drought hits. We do need to get a couple dams set up, which means extending the path. And then we can these up on the priority list. But uh, this is highest. And then start planting some trees. I'm 
diversify a little bit. So I think we probably want some... What is this? Oak? Yeah, we want more oak. Oh, I know why it's not being built, because we don't have any builders. Okay, we can pause both of these. And then, let's see, three builders? Yeah, that works out. We only have one person in here, so we can pause this. Increase the amount of workers there. Honestly, we can even pause one of these. Pump that up. Yeah, we'll do this. Keep it on pause, but just have it lower on the priority list. And this guy is actually useless now. So let's get rid of him. We don't really need berries. We have 47 water. It's okay. Not the most. Not the least. Get another water pumper. Yeah, I'm, uh, I will be moving that. Maybe not quite yet. But it will be moved. Fast forward through the night. Oh, we have some wood. So let's do... Let's help get their well-being up. So we'll make a campfire. We'll do that. Right here. And then... We'll leave that... Well, we'll bump that up to... High priority. Because it, the order of operations goes priority first. And then... Okay. Yeah, it goes priority first. And then the the stuff that you placed first will get uh, will get constructed before the newer stuff so if I were to for example if I were to place a house here and here if these are at the same priority since I placed this house first it would be constructed first but if I make this one higher priority then this one takes precedent but then if I make this one also higher priority, then it reverts back to, okay, they're the same priority, which one did you place first? So. Okay, so food, they don't really have that much, but they also are really just starting to harvest everything. We do have three workers instead of just one, so that should be helpful. We could probably also work on, well, we're running low on wood, so getting this other dam set up. They're almost done with that. We will want some more water storage. If they can build it, then fantastic. If not, We'll survive for now. Yeah, fast forward through the night. They put some logs into this. Not quite all of them. Uh, we do need to get stairs, but that's not super important right now. Really the main thing is we have access to water and water storage. We're happy. <laughs> um, we got the forester so we can plant more trees and then we have access to food that's not berries. And you can see that our water production is going up almost at 90. And then we are out of wood right now. Oh, I can mark these last two. Get us four extra wood. And I want this guy to actually... Oh, what? This whole time. I... Okay. Well, we want this to be birch because that'll grow faster. Okay, let's... 
reduce the amount of workers. Oh. Man, I noticed that there were three planted, or there were a few trees planted here, but I didn't see anything else getting planted, and I kind of assumed he was planting somewhere else, but now he is actually planting. And we can select some more birch to be planted down here. Let's fill in some of these gaps. So now it's just kind of a waiting game. We have we have these two two dams placed in. They are getting started. Oh, they got all the storage place that we selected. And they got the campfire. Sweet. Let's see, we have three babies. We won't need more people. Let's see. Do some mental math. Okay, I think I do want to start expanding the population. And although we don't have a whole lot of food, it seems like, yeah, this is almost all the way ready to be harvested again. So we have enough food cycling through and we have more room to plant food. We can make another efficient farmhouse. That might be one of the next things we do. Well, let's make this water first. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of all these berries. Make room for more crops to be planted. Yeah. Yeah, that's the plan. Got this lodge under construction. Don't have that much wood. And we're going to actually move this to be right here. That'll expand the range of planting. So we can plant food all the way over here with this farmhouse. It's right here. This one goes in a few tiles. Yeah, and we probably won't even need to pause the water pumpers during the drought. So. Yeah. Okay, nice. We got the... Ooh. Minus four. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was hungry or something. He was like, I think it's ten. Ten or something like that for being thirsty and starving. We got that in. And then they are missing wood right now. But they'll be constructing that soon. I think that is where we're going to end today's episode. There's going to be a new video tomorrow, and it's going to be way more content than I normally produce. And I also realized that I forgot to kind of go over what my plan is for this, so I'll do that right now. So for the month of December, I'm going to be releasing a video every single day up until the end of the, new, end of the year. And as you can tell, it's a little different than the videos I normally make. If you guys like it, please let me know. In the future, I probably will make a kind of a mix of content. Some of it being this new style, some of it the old style. But this new style is way less editing, and so I can pump out a lot more videos per week. Yeah, so we're going to shoot to go get all these monuments by the end of the 31 days. I have no idea if that's reasonable or not. I think it's doable, but we'll see. 
I'll be going for at least 31 days, I should say. I might keep going if I'm having a good time and you guys enjoy these videos. So, with that, this is going to end today's episode. We will see you tomorrow. See you guys.